You know what I'm trying to say? That's who I love the most, the people with the Iman. I don't care what they call themselves. You know how it is, my brother. I ain't got no differentiation between no sect. I'm just a Muslim. But I'm saying this because you know, you know that there's the truth. There's some hidden truth. There's hidden facts. People hiding the truth. And I can die tomorrow. I can die now. If I don't say these things, and on the day of judgment, you will come to me. You will say to me, brother, why did you not tell me? Brother Muhammad, why did you not tell me what you knew? The truth, you didn't tell me. Why? And you will be angry with me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish me for not saying the truth. And so not saying the so not saying the real haq, the haq. My brother. Alhamdulillah, honey, that's what I'm gonna say. Alhamdulillah, you got knowledge. But we can always get more knowledge. What does it say in the Quran? Rabbi Zidni Alman. Increase my knowledge. You can't say we've got that's it, we've reached to the top. No, we keep in getting our knowledge. Do you understand? And you know, brother, between Imam Ali says, between the falsehood and the truth is the four fingers. So not everything you hear, my brother, is the truth. You have to see with your own eyes and then you believe it. Do you understand? There's, between falsehood and truth is four fingers. But sometimes you might hear things, it's lies, brother. They're saying about other Muslims. Do you understand, my brother? And mashallah, Allah put you made you, mashallah, made you something so people, because he knows you've got a good intentions, you've got a good heart, so he made you, <coughs> he made you a star, yeah, for Muslims to see and get knowledge from and get inspiration from. So, you should be more hungry now to get the more, to get the truth. It's your boy Mo telling you from deep in my heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told me to make this for you, brother. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told me Mo made this video for Ali Dawah. I'm telling you, we're all sinners, we're all sinners, but we repent, astaghfirullah. But remember, them sins are minor compared to the aqeedah, the sin of the belief. That's what I'm trying to say, my brother. Come to the haq, come to the haq, come to the ahl bayt. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. It's, my, it's your boy Maudin, yeah? I pray that, I pray that you come to the haq. And I pray that the haq gets, you know, Allah makes the haq victorious, yeah? And that's it, my brother. Iman, we need to make our Iman stronger. Inshallah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. It's your boy Maudin. I say that. Like, pray hard. Pray hard. You want something, pray hard for it. You want the truth, pray hard to get the truth. You know, it's all about praying hard. You know what I'm trying to say? Remember what Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, the sixth Imam, the sixth grandson of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam said. He said, don't look at how much a person prays and how much he fasts and how much he goes hajj and how much he cries. No. Rather look at how truthful and how how truthful he is and how trustworthy he is. And in another hadith, he said, look at how honest he is, uh, look at how he deals with women and money. So do you see how Imam Sadiq comes? He goes, don't be tricked all the time by how much a person prays and that. You know what I'm saying, my brother? So these people that are talking to you and telling you stuff, don't be fooled by them if you see them praying a lot and doing things a lot. Look at how trustworthy and truthful they are. And also, I just want to say, that um Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad uh, like there's a lot to say you know I just hope that message reaches you and you know inshallah like you know like I know like you are a clever guy in mashallah so it will click you get me so you know how it is we're on the same team we're on the same side my brother inshallah yeah pray yeah pray for me brother pray for me yeah and I pray for you, inshallah. It's your boy, Maudin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. May Allah fasten the repentance of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. The, the 12th grandson of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The 12th Imam. The 12th Imam. Because it's the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His daughter Fatima alayhi salam. She had Imam al-Hassan, Imam al-Hussein. And after Imam al-Hussein, uh, she had Hassan Hussein. And uh, after Imam Hussein, it's Imam Zainal Abidin, his son. After Imam Zainal Abidin, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. After Imam Muhammad al-Baqir, Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, who was the teacher of the, all the schools of thoughts. After Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq, Imam Musa al-Kadhim. After Imam Musa al Ali ibn Musa al-Radha. Uh, uh, then Muhammad Ali ibn Ali al-Jawad. Then Ali ibn Muhammad al-Hadi. Then Hassan ibn Ali al-Askari. Then Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. That's the 12 Imams. The rightly guided, the Prophet said after me the 12. Allah salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. The Ahl al-Bayt, the bloodline from Abraham. The pure bloodline, Allah says it in the Quran. The, the Imam has mentioned in the Quran. Many verses. 
may Allah make the Imam Mahdi victorious. Allah Muhammad Salaam Muhammad Wa Muhammad. Inshallah, we meet, we talk. Inshallah, the truth gets victorious. So, boy, Mawdeen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.